In this video, we will be showing a large and a small dog having a transcervical insemination. The large scope, they're both stort scopes. One is a rhinoscope that holds a five French catheter as a maximum size. The other scope is larger, will hold up to a 10 French catheter, but we typically use an eight French. We use a little bit of sterile uh, KY on it, and we don't ever have that touch the opening of the catheter, and we don't want it on the catheter, but it can be on the scope. We then advance the scope in the vagina by first putting the scope upside down as we go up over the pelvis. We want to be sure that we're not going into the urethra. Uh, and then what we do is we advance in, we look at the folds. Uh, it's, it's a good time to do a vaginoscopy at the time on the way in. We can assess for pillars and for strictures and for any other problems in the vagina. As we advance the scope in, there is a, a fold dorsally called the dorsal median fold. And as we go down that fold, as we see that, we'll see that we just have this one fold, and then there will be a large fissure. And that fissure is the start of the cervix that we're just going by in that picture. As we go down the cervix, the os for the cervix will generally be aimed ventrally, and we will hit the os of the cervix with a catheter. And then if we can't get the catheter in, we slide the scope ventral to the opening, try and keep the opening directly in the dorsal position of the scope, and then we will then advance the catheter again. You do not have the ability to aim the catheter in any direction with this, which is a problem. So the catheter has to be straight at it. So what helps is that the scope goes ventral to it and it tips the cervix up a little bit, allowing the catheter to immediately enter. The sovereign catheters have two openings in them and we put the first opening in. And as the first opening is in, we attach the syringe um, and then we watch the air bubble out of the top opening that is just at the cervical os right now. The video is a little bit behind that, but you can see the syringe being attached at that point. Um, once the column of semen is at the cervix, we advance the catheter into the cervix and continue the breeding. Large dogs, we have 2 ml of semen. Small dogs, we do about 1 to 1.5 ml of semen. We do a very, very gradual um, entry into the uterus with the catheter, and we also put the semen in fairly slowly so we don't suddenly dilate the uterus and have it constrict and um, eject all the semen. But we finish the breeding, we remove the catheter, remove the scope, and we do not have to hold the bitch up at all after the breeding.